The small Montana energy company embroiled in controversy over its contract to restore Puerto Rico's power is now walking away. Whitefish Energy says it is owed more than $83 million by the Puerto Rico Power Authority, and it has no choice but to suspend work in the hurricane-ravaged country. Whitefish CEO Andy Tekmanski tells CNN in an exclusive interview that the lack of payment has gone beyond his company's maximum threshold. Tekmanski claims even credit for restoration of transmission lines was set to be voided. A letter sent by Whitefish to Puerto Rico Electric Power Authority accuses PREPA of delaying payments. As of Sunday, Whitefish said 26 million of the 83 million outstanding had already been audited and approved by PREPA. The letter went on to say without payment to Whitefish, contractors and subcontractors were also going unpaid. Now the entire $300 million Whitefish contract is under investigation by federal authorities. FEMA says it would have never supported the contract and also there are concerns that Tekmanski and Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke are from the same small town of Whitefish, Montana. Last week, Puerto Rico's governor demanded that the deal be voided, saying the controversy was a distraction. Tekmanski says he's hoping to get payments so his company can work the last 10 days before his contract is up on December 1st.